According to the research of UNICEF, every year 400 children under age of 5 die due to the air pollution. Air pollution causes stroke, pneumonia, and respiratory diseases. Our capital city, Ulaanbaatar, is the second most polluted city in the world. My name is Purehu Tsirindorj. I was a journalist. Now I am an activist against air pollution in Mongolia. In winter time, air pollution in Ulaanbaatar is uh, 25 to 30 times higher than standards. Miscarriage increases 3.5 times higher than uh, in summertime. Every woman feel it. My first child had cancer. Now he's cancer free. And doctor said me the cancer could be caused by the air pollution. And my second child got pneumonia two or three times every year. And we stayed in hospital every year two or three times. There was no enough hospital bed to stay with that on the floor. And I was very angry. So I started our NGO work, our protest actions. It was in 2016. In our capital city, Ulaanbaatar, 80% of the air pollution comes from the Gir district area. In Gir district area, we don't have an infrastructure and we use raw coal to heat our households. Because of climate change, many herders come to uh, capital city and they burning coal and make air pollution. People live in Gir district area, they don't have enough understanding about air pollution. I'm a journalist. I need to first fight. I want to do what I can do. After our uh, NGO organized a six protest action against air pollution, Mongolian government first time released national program against air pollution. I became a member of national committee and our government decided to reduce air pollution by briquette. This briquette is also coal, but it's washed and compressed coal. After the national program against air pollution released, I became a board member of Briquette Factory. Sometimes um, Briquette's factory line breaks down. The quality of the Briquette sometimes is good, sometimes is not good. So I go through the Briquette factory and trying to check everything I can. Our NGO has a Facebook group and our Facebook group has uh, about 140,000 members. Those people gave me information about the briquette supply and briquette quality. I usually go to the factory once a week. Everywhere I go, I share information with my Facebook group. Every day I go through the Gear District area it's my biggest job. Sometimes uh, selling points are closed and sometimes it's finished and people come in to um, buy briquettes and they going with empty bag. It's a, 
it's very difficult in winter time because minus 40 degree is a not a joke without briquettes and without heating system. To communicate with people who don't know me, it's difficult. They will not tell me truth. So I gave them masks and I gave them some gloves and then they will start talk more about the reality. So it's like my small uh, trick. After uh, I gave a mask, the people start talking about more about the briquettes, more about health problems, more about hospital issues. In developed country, I heard that children are not die because of pneumonia. But even today we make disappear all air pollution. The air pollution will affect our children's health next 20 years. It's already affected them and we can't change that. When I first realized about the air pollution effect on children's health, I wanted to move out abroad. But I have an understanding about air pollution. I have lots of information about air pollution. If I move abroad, who will be fight against air pollution? I'm a very idealistic person. I think we can reduce air pollution. In long term, we need to stop burning coal. In the future, we want more green energy resources. I think we need to build and develop more infrastructure. We need to stop climate change and we need to reduce poverty. That's the long term solution.